Anti. Okay. It seems I've interrupted you. I'll go make dinner. Did you have fun chatting with Auntie? Given how you are always nitpicking, I was surprised to hear you say nice things about me. Just a little. Only you would say those things about me. But it was not so much praise as a statement of facts. I don't need to ask that question now, because the answer is written all over your face. Just leave it here. Thank you for doing this, Victor. Of course. You've got bad knees and can't move something this heavy on your own. Call me any time you need help.
that pendant on your keys. It looks special. <sighs> Is that a gift from her? Yes. She likes these kinds of baubles. That's sweet, isn't it? Gifting you something she likes? To be honest, the real reason I called you two here is that I wanted us to get together. I noticed that she brought a lot of souvenirs. That's very thoughtful. She started preparing gifts right after Auntie called. She took it more seriously than work. What? Are you jealous? Dad. Okay, okay. Enough of my nagging. You know better than me about this kind of thing. Oh, by the way, the other day you mentioned that the house in Loveland suburbs was having plumbing problems. Well, it's been fixed. That house has been vacant for a long time, so I also had it cleaned. Check in on it when you get back. Okay. Would you like to go there with me and stay for a couple of days? I have some things to take care of during the festival. It's best that I remain here. Why don't you take her there? That place is sunny and quiet. More comfortable than the city. All right. And don't always talk about work with her. I know. Since Auntie said she's got your back, you don't need my permission. It sat in the decanter for barely five minutes. You want me to get drunk now, so that you have one less person mocking you when you make a fool of yourself later? Hey.
The wine tasted bad. The sugar is gone. You think you can just run away like this? That didn't cross your mind when you teased me with the sugar? Looks like your alcohol tolerance hasn't improved one bit. Just like your memory. Only one sip and your face got red. You're a fine one to talk. Are you forgetting what you just did? Ms. Wang. Thank you. And sorry you had to stay and help out even during the Spring Festival. I'm flattered. The ingredients you prepared are my family's favorites, so naturally they like the dishes made from them. Besides, I don't come home often, so cooking a meal or two is the least I can do. Maybe he was just bitten by the flower bug. Ms. Wang, please don't tell my father about this. I have. She's always busy with work, and she's a bad cook, so she comes to eat at my place every chance she gets. Well, she's not a picky eater. She likes pretty much everything she eats. She may complain a lot when she's hungry, but she's back to her cheerful self as soon as her stomach is full. She's incredibly easy to please. Ms. Wayne, sorry, I...
Yes, good point. Ms. Wang, what are these flowers my father bought? Just ask him. Well, just so long as he likes them. Come on in. You drank tonight. Are you feeling all right? I've always lived in Loveland City. And when my dad moved here, he brought my things from my school days. Pretty much. You're stating the obvious. What are you talking about? <sighs> you really are drunk. That's what people say when they're drunk. No. If I were drunk too, who would take care of this little drunkard? You only just realized that? I knew you wouldn't go straight to your room to sleep, so I left the door ajar for you. You can stay as long as you don't throw a drunken fit. Okay, what do you want to know? The Model United Nations Award. Looking back on it now, 
All those proposals we came up with were so naive. It was good mental training, though. And that's from school. I think it's a student union work log or something. I was, as a kid. Pudding, huh? Is that all you remember? I'm fine. It's late. You should go to bed. We've got a long trip back tomorrow. No, go to sleep in your room. I changed my mind. What's there to be shy about? You asked for this. You've talked too much tonight. Shh. My dad is a light sleeper. Careful not to wake him up. I'm telling you now. Go to sleep. You sleep here. I'll take the guest room.
wake up. We're here. This is my suburban house. My family stays here once in a while when they're in town. My dad had the pipes fixed and the rooms cleaned. He suggested I bring you here and stay a couple of days. I'll give you a tour when you're well rested. Go to sleep. Let me know if you need anything. Here. What is it? Oh, I'll go check my suitcase. Can't even stay still in your sleep, huh? This one's softer. Try it on. See how it fits. Just couldn't wait, could you? Hello?
Don't bury your face in the pillow. You're finally up. I thought you'd sleep straight through to tomorrow. You're welcome. I just didn't want to spend my vacation looking after a sick dummy. If you want to eat dinner sooner, help me out. Don't move. I'm coming. Must be a power outage. The wiring was only recently fixed and might still be unstable. What's there to be terrified of? I checked them when you were asleep. Funny how you didn't worry about a thing when you decided to sleep through the day, and now you get all paranoid. Now get your head out of the clouds and let's go check the breaker. Okay, no need to be afraid anymore. I'll go check the appliances again. <laughs> when are you going to let go of me? I thought you were only clingy when you get drunk.
come up with a better excuse next time. I just don't want you to lose sleep thinking about nonsense. <laughs> now that's a good excuse. I'll buy it. Morning. I see you made yourself at home. Then you're in for a disappointment. I don't come here often. There aren't many things around the house that are worthy of your curiosity. If you want every version, then you're missing one. No. No. Are you just playing dumb? You mentioned it the day before yesterday, and you've forgotten already. You said you weren't drunk, remember? <sighs> well, since you're selectively forgetful, then let me jog your memory. I remember someone 
telling me that day that she wouldn't make a drunken fool of herself. Good. At least you still remember that. The wine went to your head, and then instead of going to bed, you came barging in my room. And then you started snooping around every corner, going on about wanting to know about my past. You don't remember that? Anything else? Answer my question. Oh yeah? Let me give you a hint. Then hold it steady. There was a soccer ball in the corner, and you seemed to be very curious about it. hit a certain dummy's sandcastle, and she couldn't stop crying over it. I couldn't get her to stop crying, no matter how hard I tried. But as soon as I mentioned food, she immediately forgot about her sandcastle. That was understandable, though, since that dummy was only five years old back then. This is what happened next. Need more hints? When did you learn to bite? That's because you held off answering my question on purpose. An eye for an eye. That's the best strategy to deal with a dummy. Have you thought about why that is? You've been acting strange these past few days. Coaxing me to drink, pretending to be drunk, borrowing my shirt. Was that all part of your little plan?
honestly think anyone would invest 500 million for a child? Ever since we met, I have never treated you like a child. I call you dummy only because sometimes you act childish and silly. And here's something that might sound familiar. Silly. Although you don't need to act silly to be cute. Wrong answer. This is different. I want to hear it from you now. Last chance. Stay focused. Answer me. Which version of Victor did you forget? Close your eyes. Just do it. So funny. <laughs> Your wish has been granted. You happy now? Do you really mean that? That's right. So, tell me. I want to hear more. <laughs>